What's it like seeing so many Republicans in Manhattan, so many Trump supporters in Manhattan? Does that surprise you? No, not at all. It's turning now. Trump's turn again. What's your message to Joe Biden? F you. So before Donald Trump attended court this morning, he visited a construction site where he was met with workers cheering USA. There was also a bunch of hilarious clips that came from this morning, such as the one you guys just saw, which is probably the funniest clip you'll see today. But more importantly, Newsmax's Addison Smith interviewed a union leader, and it's very apparent that Joe Biden is losing support among union workers. We're going to talk about all that in just one second. First, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you all for being here. New studio behind me. Let me know what you guys think. I was also thinking about maybe posting a uh, P.O. box so you guys could send over a few things to put on the shelf behind me. If that sounds like a fun idea. Let me know down in the comments section below. And then lastly, before we get started, hit the link down in the description below to my Rumble channel. We have to be supporting free speech platforms. There's a lot of censorship ramping up over on YouTube with, uh, you know, Luke Radowski, Tim Pool, getting videos removed that are years old and getting a strike on their account for it. So if you guys want to support me over on Rumble, let's build that channel up really quickly. Hit the link down in the description below. Subscribe to my Rumble. I greatly appreciate all you guys doing that. Let's go ahead and jump on into this. So Caroline Levitt showing good morning from New York. Union workers chant USA as President Trump visits their construction site. This is New York City, you guys. USA, 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 USA. Well, that's definitely a massive crowd right there. And that is at like maybe 6.30 in the morning, something like that. Addison Smith says, left Biden's afternoon campaign event in his hometown of Scranton, right here, <laughs> right here. Right, Trump, Trump's drop-in stop at a random construction zone in blue New York City at 6.30 this morning. Now, uh, I would imagine, you know, uh, New York Republicans groups are aware of Trump's visit, but still, this is a massive crowd for blue New York City in the heart of New York City. It's uh, just amazing to see. You'll see a lot of comments always when it comes to Biden's events saying, oh, well, they, they cap how many people can go. Well, I, does nobody ask why? That should be the first question. Why is that? Well, maybe because they can't easily get this many people to show up chanting USA and they're excited that Biden's there. Maybe that's one of the reasons why. Maybe they cap it at like 50 people or less because they want to have that excuse before not so many people show up to come support. So like I mentioned, Addison Smith over at Newsmax did a fantastic interview with one of the union leaders. And this interview is just, it, it, it really is amazing. We're gonna go ahead and unpack it right now. Let's jump in. Yeah, guys, the former president just left the construction site uh, of J.P. Morgan. We've got some union workers, construction workers here, uh, including Mr. Bobby. Bobby, your reaction to seeing uh, the former president come by? Very exciting that he's come by to uh, say hello to construction workers. You know, in the past, we are basically Democrats, all of us. And after what's happened the last four years in this country, they, Democrats, are basically pushing everybody to the other side. We're a very patriotic group, and we love our country, and we want the best for America. We are tired of immigration. We're tired of our tax dollars going to immigration. We're tired of the crime. We need to put a handle on things in this country and bring it back to how it should be. And you say what's after what's happened over the last four years, what have you seen happen throughout Joe Biden's presidency that has pushed you guys towards the right? Well, I don't I don't think it's just um, so much Joe Biden himself, but it's basically all of Congress, uh, the House and the Senate. Um, they're not they're they're not taking care of the American citizens. It seems the American citizens are last and the immigrants that come over the border illegally and criminals have more to have more rights than the American citizens that are paying their taxes and going to work every day. And if you could say one thing to Joe Biden right now, obviously he's trying to court union voters. He met with United Steelworkers in Pennsylvania a couple of weeks ago. What would you say to him? I would say start supporting the American citizens before anybody else. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
You know, Bobby Bartels brings up one part right there, which is saying that, oh, well, it's not just Joe Biden that, that's doing this, right? It's Congress when it comes to the open border. Well, it, it's actually not true. And the more people that realize that this isn't true, the more unpopular Joe Biden actually gets. Because when you actually start to look at the facts and you see that this is a deliberate sabotage of the southern border, things get a lot more... Uh, I, I don't know if we use the word evil, nasty, whatever word we want to use for that, but he's incorrect about that. I mean, it's not, it's not, there, there is no action that Congress needs to take when it comes to securing the southern border, right? You just have to undo those executive actions that Joe Biden did his first week in office, tearing apart dozens of years of border security policy that was working, especially the new policies that were working under Donald Trump. But that being said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get too picky here because when he when it comes to just the working class seeing the difference in hey the Trump years and the Biden years they see they they know that they're being put last there's no pro America sentiment that's putting them first they're well aware of this so Bobby continues right here all right you guys let's take a few moments to talk about today's sponsor Deal Dash now I know many of you are already bidding on Deal Dash but for those of you who don't know Deal Dash is an auction website that many people either seem to love or hate. And if you've seen their ads at any point in the last 15 years on TV, you'll know that they have thousands of auctions every day with brand new items. So right here is just a handful of items that are up for auction today. You have a literal car. You have an offload auction of 54 grills. There's iPads that sell for 10 bucks on this website. Also check this out. Let's type an Xbox. You have an Xbox right here that sold for $37.31. That's obviously ridiculous. So you're probably wondering, okay, what's the catch? Because this just doesn't seem legit. Well, you have to pay for the right to bid. I'll explain. Right here, they'll ask you to buy 220 bids for $30, which means you can bid in any of their auctions 220 times. Now, every auction starts at $0 with no minimum reserve price. And every time you bid, you can at most raise the price by a penny. After you bid, the auction timer counts down by 10 seconds. And if nobody bids in the next 10 seconds, you win the auction. So Deal Dash hooked me up with some bids. Let's go ahead and find some items to bid on. All right, we definitely have to go for the home theater sound bar system. Let's go ahead and hit bid. And I am in the lead, real James Klug. Well, we definitely have to do the fishing rod combo. Let's go ahead and hit bid. Zombie first place. So check out dealdash.com and use my promo code Klug100 and you'll get 100 extra free bids on your first bid pack purchase. And if you don't win an auction using these bids or you just don't like it for any reason, contact dealdash and they'll give your money back, no questions asked, on your first bid pack purchase. So the downside's pretty limited. It's worth a try. You guys, do me a favor. Check out dealdash.com slash Klug100. Take advantage of this deal. I will put a link down in the description below. Let's get back to this video. A lot of union leaders have come out and endorsed uh, Biden, but are we seeing something different from union workers than we are from union leaders? I believe you are. And um, if you're a New York City resident and you see what's going on in this city, you'd be... Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't be a good move for us not to clean up what's happening in this city right now. It's just absolutely despicable, as the Democrats use that word, of what's going on in this, this city, this town, this country. So there you have it, the, the disparity between what union leaders at the top are saying and what the union workers uh, actually want. Well, I, like I said earlier, I work for my members. And that's what a lot of union leaders are forgetting, I think, that they work for their members. They don't work for me. I work for them. I think they're totally right about this. You know, I think we're seeing this sentiment shift when it comes to union workers all over the country, specifically, you know, we're talking about like working class individuals, people in construction. It totally looks like they're they're absolutely right about this. And those are the groups that the Biden administration has really abandoned. Remember, they're focusing on college educated women. They're focusing on the people at the very, very bottom. They're completely ignoring the actual working class Americans. And so and people what know, want. what union do you do you lead? I, I am uh, the business manager of the Steam for this local of 638, New York City and Long Island. And if you don't work for your members, like every politician is supposed to be working for the citizens. It's not their vision that they should be passing along. It's the constituents who vote for them. So these members voted for me. This is what they want. This is where it's leading. And I work for them and I'm gonna do what my members want me to do. Well said, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. 
So this, these are groups that are historically Democrats that are walking away from the Democratic Party. On top of all this, you also have Gen Z that's going to be not motivated for to, to vote for Joe Biden for multiple reasons. One reason being, you know, the massive protests happening when it comes to how he's handling a lot of the more radical individuals, how he's handling Israel versus Hamas war. So, you know, a lot of those people aren't going to show up to vote for Joe Biden. But not just the Israel-Hamas war, not just that. We're, we're talking about like, hey, uh, banning TikTok. A lot of these things are really unpopular with younger Americans. And, and tabling all of that. Nobody is excited about Joe Biden, so they can't afford, well, some people are, of course, but they can't afford to be losing support for from unions. And I think one question to ask right here would be, okay, so like what percentage? I mean, you know, obviously this is one individual right here. He's around a handful of union workers. It seems like these guys are, have really had enough of Joe Biden. But more importantly, and this is one of the most interesting things about the interview with Bobby, and this was actually on Fox News, is he polled his own union workers and their support for, for Donald Trump. During a separate interview with Fox News, this is from Colin Rugg, Bartels said, I put out a poll in my union. President Trump is leading Joe Biden three to one in my presidential poll out of my 9,000 members. I put out a poll in my union. President Trump is leading Joe Biden three to one on my presidential poll out of my 9,000 members right now. We are very tired of the situation with groceries, uh, inflation, gas prices, illegal immigration, crime. We're living it every day in New York City. So, yeah, that gets rid of any, okay, well, maybe it's just a kind of an anecdotal, oh, a handful of union workers are tired of Joe Biden. No, 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 no. We're talking leading Joe Biden three to one in New York City. Unbelievable. So this is obviously going to be very problematic for Democrats this coming election. People are not motivated to vote for Joe Biden, and they're also losing support. And losing support from their most, you know, loyal voters as well. I wanted to include this one part with Newsmax's Addison Smith also interviewing Donald Trump before going to court this morning. It's, it's what we're hearing from everyone here. There was a whole group at uh, 4.30 in the morning, a whole group of dozens of people in line waiting to see the former president. I think we have a clip of what he had to say uh, here on scene. Let's take a listen. Uh, we have a big case today in the Supreme Court on presidential immunity. A president has to have immunity. If, if you don't have immunity, you just have a ceremonial president. Uh, I have a lot of support. I hear uh, the Teamsters, you know, I've done a lot of work with Teamsters. I built a lot of buildings with the Teamsters, and they like me, a lot of Teamsters here. And it's an amazing show of affection, but we did a great job. <laughs> I love the way he talks. Yeah, yeah I know. And guys, of course, uh, the president still in Manhattan as the Supreme Court is taking up oral arguments uh, in his presidential immunity case against Jack Smith, trying to see if he can be granted presidential immunity in relation to his uh, ongoing election case. The judge denied that, so he is here in Manhattan. He can't go out and campaign. Of course, he has called that election uh, interference. And so now he's resorted uh, to this, doing on-the-road stops in the morning before he has to go to Manhattan court. Maybe he'll do something uh, late at night, but that's really what he's, his hand has been forced to, is having to do these early, early morning campaign stops here in New York. You know, to this point, I see this stuff as working. Donald Trump, one of his greatest strengths is obviously communicating with people. And when it comes to showing up to random gas stations or restaurants or construction zones, this stuff really shows him as the working class president, the president that's paying attention, and at least that's how it's perceived. And he does it so well. Not like Joe Biden showing up to a gas station, not really understanding exactly what he's doing. It's a little bit awkward. There's not many supporters that show up. It's The energy is not there. It's not fun. He has no clue where he is. You're talking about a vegetable just like walking into a store. Everyone's like, uh, okay, well, uh, this is, I guess this is kind of cool, but what's going on here? Donald Trump thrives when it comes to these types of stops. And ultimately what he should do is actually like hold a rally in New York City. That's that's 100% what he should be doing. But if not doing that, stop by Bodega. Stop by all over the place just to make sure that you can get these, these clips put out there on the internet that people can see him engaging with the American people. It's incredibly effective. And I would argue that nobody does it better 
than Donald Trump. Also, not to mention, we're talking about this, this during this whole conversation, I haven't even mentioned this yet. We are talking about showing up at what, you know, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., whatever it may be, showing up to greet these workers. Okay, Joe Biden is asleep at that time. He's not awake. <laughs> So you're not only are you showing that you're engaging with the American people, but you're also showing that you're, you know, awake, you're working with the American people, you're, you're energetic. This shows stamina. It's a good look for the president of the United States, for sure. It's a better look than this. Imagine what we can do next. Four more years. Pause. Four more years. Four more years. Four more years. It takes them like like three full seconds to realize that he just pulled a Ron Burgundy for the 100th time in the last one month. It's not too hard to uh, look like you have more energy than this guy right here, but might as well just keep nailing that. Might as well keep showing the American people that you're up early, you're up late, you're working with the American people. It's a fantastic look. Uh, I know I already showed this clip, but we'll, we'll play this really quick as well. What's it like seeing so many Republicans in Manhattan, so many Trump supporters in Manhattan? Does that surprise you? No, not at all. It's turning now. Trump's turn again. What's your message to Joe Biden? F*** you. <laughs> oh, you guys. You guys, it is just, it, it's too good. This has to be my favorite video of the day. There, you can't always pull off a good F you video. Sometimes they're not always that funny, but this guy just <laughs> really, really says it with his chest and just walks off. You guys, let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below. I'm so curious to hear your thoughts of the interview with the union leader. And maybe if you're in construction, are you experiencing uh, this kind of same sentiment at your place of work? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and hit that bell notification button so you're notified next to my post. And I'll catch you all in the next video.